it is it is dark, but I mean with the the lights coming off of businesses along, you know, it's, it's not you know, but it is definitely darker than normal because those lights are out right now. Is it one so side? It's, or look, it's the, 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 the two sections, right? They did Goddard to Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. right? So that was last year, mm -hmm. and now it's Goddard all the way to Van Horn. Right. There'll probably be you know be more Goddard to I ninety four because I would think that the section by Van Horn is on a different circuit. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they're replacing a lot of wires. And mm -hmm. from you don't just want to use the old wires that were there because we were having you know the flashing and everything else. Um, but they're doing a lot of trenching. Right. I think through, I think they got most of the wiring done. Mm -hmm. I think they were just finishing up kind of right by your house. Okay. Uh, I think I saw them over there today when I was going in to work. Okay. I just wanted now I know they're replacing northbound on this side. I haven't seen, but I'll, I'll meet with Matt. It, once they get all that stuff done, they start knocking that out pretty quick. So um, it should be pretty soon. But I'll get a more of a, a better idea. And I'll continue that. Mm -hmm. Chairman, Council. I just had a couple more things. Um, at the at Telegraph um, in Melody Lane, there's that parking lot there. Mm -hmm. So um, there were blocks there. I don't know, did the city put those up or did the business, um, the person who owned the property put those up? Because I noticed since the telegraph crews, they're not put back. And um, I've seen people go in the back with trailers and I was worried about dumping. Um, and there's a trailer sitting back there and I don't know if that's like, a, you know, maybe one of the lighting companies or something, but you know, I wondered if, if we could look to make sure that there's no dumping going on. So that's, that's private property. Um, he did allow the company to park over there when they were doing uh, Kensington, mm -hmm. um, but he did, I think, lease that out during the cruise. Um, so he probably moved those blocks to allow those people in there. So it would be his responsibility to move those blocks back so people don't get in there. And um, if, if they are dumping in there, it would be his responsibility to make sure that doesn't happen, or it would be his responsibility to clean it up. Mr. Mayor, I do think we should look at structural ordinance violation for that property. The mm -hmm. colonial house, you know, burnt down 10, 15, 20 years ago. And at this point in time, at least my opinion is that the parking lot should be taken out and let it taken back to uh, a natural environment um, because we've had trouble with trucks parking there over the years and everything else. And, you know, certainly we'd rather see them that property, but to me it's kind of an eyesore on Telegraph and it has been for a while. I understand your point, it's private property, but maybe something that we either Mr. look at or apply the structures. I agree with you 100% and when that project was done in the staging, they even left it in better shape than what it was. And um, there was a, um, I'll be glad to have a conversation with you after this. Okay, all right, thank you Mr. Mayor. So a couple more things about that. So there's the dumping because there's a creek right there. So I was going I wondered if we should contact the Green County Commissioner to see if there's been any dumping going on um, because we don't want that to be a problem right. there. And then um, um, that was it for that part. And then also I wanted to know um, for our other boards and uh, commissions that meet on different nights, are like the planning, the tip of the zoning. Are those televised? No. No. Are so there's minutes taken. Are the minutes put online? <laughs> so every so is it done after after every meeting? I'm not positive, but I believe so. I mean, like once a week or at least the after month. the meeting. After the meeting, they're put on. Okay, and then the. Um, the calendar shows all those dates. I did see that, like when they 
get like from the uh, I think um, one of the council members are on planning um, about things that are coming to the city after they're approved because people ask me all the time, you know, oh so there's a you know there's this you know uh, Chick Fil A coming there or there's a uh, you know sheets and you know all this kind of thing. So I know that the, the citizens always ask me about that and I probably they probably ask other um, council members as well and I would just like to know so. I was wondering if we could um, get like updates either from the um, the planning department to be given to um, to the um, secretary about you know things that are approved or I guess I could go on there mm -hmm. after the minutes and look myself mm -hmm. and then announce it. But um, I think that would be good and it shows like we're moving forward, we're doing all these things, you know, because um, I see things popping up all the time. So I'm really proud of them and I. I think that we should, uh, we should advertise it a little bit more if we could. Councilman Johnson, as our representative of the Planning Commission, I don't disagree with you. I think the Planning Department should send an email to every one of us on what's on the agenda for the next meeting. And the uh, TIFA should do the same thing. Every one of us should get that sent to us. I've asked that and it hasn't happened. So. But I, I haven't asked it of the administration. Council. I was thinking that would be helpful too, but. Um, minutes where it shows, or even if it was just like an email to us that, you know, this is approved and it's going forward, um, this is actually going to happen. So, you know, when people say something to us, oh, I heard, you know, like there, someone talked to me about a gas station that's going right next to a gas station and um, on Telegraph and um, Sherman. Mm -hmm. So is, is that happening? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, it, there doesn't have to be, you know, I know that a lot of times gas stations are on four corners. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that, I mean, it's, I mean, there's like a giant neighborhood right there, so, right, yeah, so I wondered, um, uh, you know, when these things are happening, if, if we could, um, you know, get a list of them, because, you know, even though aren't going to like it because it's by their house and things like that, but we should be able, to, uh, from this, um, oh, since we are televised and the other commissions are not, we can tell people what's going on. Well, through the chair, again, we, we do post the meetings, you know, I, I do believe that the agenda is put on there and stuff. I agree that you guys should be notified, you know, like sometimes I gotta pop down there and I'll see something going on and I'll be like, hey, well, what's going on here, you know, that I'm not always aware of and stuff. But, you know, like my neighborhood, when that gas station,